Stay tuned to find out how I make four fantastic vegan banana ice creams and they're totally scrummy. Woohoo! So here we have a crap load of frozen bananas. If you really do like your ice cream, I think it's a good guide to use three bananas between two people. And I would say that gives a very generous portion and they must be really ripe. So before we put them in a food processor, we need to chop them into slices or inch chunks. It really would have been better if I did this first before I actually froze it. So you may want to just do that and put them in food bags, but I've never done this before. This is totally, or it was totally new to me. So I'm gonna show you the flavors that I like. And then we're just gonna place it in a food processor. Then you just need to pop your food processor lid on or a blender if you're using, and we're just gonna whiz it around, but we will need to give it a bit of encouragement with our spatula, and it will be better if you get a bendy one like this one so it gets really into the grooves. So already it's getting really pliable, and I love this texture, and it tastes just like ice cream. So there you go, that's the kind of consistency you should be expecting, which I absolutely think is perfect for ice cream. So we're just gonna pop it in here. Mmm, that's totally delicious. And for our next batch, we're just going to stir in one teaspoon of lemon extract, but this one is absolutely delicious and for chopped dates. This is not bitter in the slices, so don't be afraid to use it. We'll just need to work a little bit hard to, to stir that in. This could be as adventurous as you want it to be. You could add nuts, seeds, you could add syrups, but I really do think this is sweet enough. Now for our third combination, we're going to add a tablespoon of cacao powder and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let's give it a good helping hand by mixing it again. And if you want to go with that extra mile and get a really dreamy Snickers style taste, then you may want to add a tablespoon of smooth almond butter. But I'm going to leave it as it is because I think this is lovely. Another combination that strangely works is chocolate and chilli, or chilli and chocolate. So what you can do is just give it a couple of sprays on top, or just in the actual processor and mix it in. Um, just try as you go along, but I really like the kick, I have to say. If you do make them and pop them in the freezer, you may want to leave them out for about 10 minutes, just to soften a little bit. And then the last combination is really simple. It's just a sprinkling of mixed spice, which has absolutely loads of things like cinnamon or nutmeg, or just pick those separately if you've got them. This is just a sweet nod to Christmas. If you want me to keep making videos like this, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, please let me know if there's any other kinds of videos you'd like to see. Okay, thanks for watching, bye. Gosh, that's hard. That's what she said. <laughs>